What's up guys, this video is gonna be full of really useful information, so I'm not gonna waste any time, let's just get right into it. These 50 tips apply to pretty much every rank, so as long as you're a human who plays Rocket League, this video will help you out a lot. So make sure to watch the whole thing, take some notes, tell your family to come watch it with you, show it to your dog, your grandma, your pet hamsters, just show it to everybody. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that beautiful red subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can comment first on any new video I put out because if you didn't know people who comment first on videos are top tier and better than everyone else all right let's get right into these tips if you take one piece of advice from this video this is it you just need to relax man when it gets chaotic around your net when it gets scary just sit back inside the net watch the chaos and I guarantee a good opportunity will present itself and you will get an easy easy clear just relax take a chill pill roll a joint I don't know do whatever it takes if you still have the default camera settings change them I recommend using these camera settings for most players under champ also turn off camera shake please this one mainly applies to silver, bronze, and gold players. Don't be afraid to use your boost. Boost make car go fast. Car go fast equal score goal. If two players go for a boost at the same time, you can jump to steal the boost from the other player. This works on opponents and teammates, so use it wisely. Using a side flip instead of a front flip when hitting a shot is an easy, easy way to get a lot of power. Just be careful not to completely whiff the ball. You don't really want to do that. If you're going fast but not supersonic and bump into a player, they will not get demoed. But if you flip into them, they will get demoed. So if you were bullied in middle school and want to become a Rocket League bully to compensate for your lack of self-worth, this will make it easier for you. Just spend like 10 minutes every time you open up Rocket League doing half flips and free play. I promise you it's one of the best things you can do for your gameplay. When going up for an aerial, it's common for lower rank players to hit weak shots. If you tilt your card down right before you hit the ball, this will give it a lot more power and pretty much fix this issue. Cold hands are terrible for gaming. Imagine you're on a nice fall walk with your crush. You go to hold her hand, and it feels like a cold, lifeless zombie. You know what that means? She's a bronze player. And if you don't want to be a cold, lifeless zombie stuck in bronze, just warm up your hands before you game. You're welcome. A good rule of thumb when you see your teammate or teammates attacking is to do figure eights at half court. This allows you to quickly attack if there's an open ball or quickly go back to defend if you need to. Practice doing this in your next few games. A good defense in Rocket League will have several lines. If you notice you're on the same line of defense as your teammate, play it safe and go behind them to be that second line. There's pretty much never a reason to be on the same line as one of your teammates, so don't do it. Training your peripheral vision is a very important skill in pretty much every rank of Rocket League. You can train this by moving your vision away from the center of the screen and looking at things to the right or to the left of your car. Do this enough times in game and you'll start to notice things on the sides of your screen without having to move your eyes from the center. Anytime you're not in a game, you should be in free play. If you're searching for a match, don't just sit in the main menu and stuff your face with Doritos and Mountain Dew. Go into free play and practice your mechanics. Listen, I know, I know, I hate playing ones too, but I'm telling you, play ones for a week straight and you will notice a huge improvement in your gameplay. Playing ones is very hard, but a lot of times, things that are very hard will give you the best outcomes. I'm sure there's a sexual joke somewhere in there, but I'm not gonna make it. If you've never played with the low camera height and angle, you will be astonished, flabbergasted, bewildered at how easy Rocket League becomes. Just don't go too low with it. I recommend a height of 100 and a camera angle of negative three. If you hit the ball in the lower half, you will get more power and height out of your shots. That's it, that's the tip. 
Instead of constantly going for 50-50s, if you know you will hit the ball first, try going to the side of the ball and hitting it around your opponent. This works surprisingly well and is an easy way to get it around your opponent. Train your side-to-side -side movements in the air. You can do this by copying the move on the screen right now or watching this video where I talk more about it. This will help you a lot if you constantly miss aerials. This mainly applies to players under champ. If you're directly under the ball, don't try and fly up to make a play. You're much better off circling around to get a better angle before attacking. These two top corners of your car are a very, very easy way to get powerful and accurate shots almost every time. Use these corners with a side flip or diagonal flip. Did you not hear me the first time? You need to relax. There is no need to go for a ball just because it's open. Your teammate is right next to it. He's still attacking. Relax. If you go for a dribble and easily flick it over your opponent, Try it again. If something is working for you and your team, keep doing it. Did you score with the pass play? Try it again. Did you score with the fast power shot? Go for more power shots. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This one's really hard if you constantly blame your teammates. So pretty much every Rocket League player in existence. You need to blame yourself for everything. Even if your teammate missed an easy save, blame yourself for putting them in that bad spot. This will start to highlight your own mistakes and make it easier for you to fix them. It's easy to get caught up in the competitive aspects of this game and always play seriously as if you're in RLCS. But remember, video games are supposed to be fun and freestyling is one of the most fun things in Rocket League. So try it. You can take freestyling up a notch by getting some friends and trying to hit cool pass plays in the air. This is a whole new level of fun and is something everybody should try. Seriously, it's a blast. Once you start reaching some higher ranks, it's easy to get caught up in the always play fast mentality. But you can catch a lot of players off guard by becoming comfortable with switching up your pace. If you can go from playing super fast to taking it slow in a matter of seconds, you will get a lot of easy goals. This is a big reason Champ 3 players struggle to reach Grand Champ. We've all been there. You're the last one back and your opponent is dribbling straight towards you. I get it. It's scary. It's easy to freak out. But truth is, if you're under champ, most players are not good at dribbling. I'd say like 90% of the time, you just have to wait, shadow defend them, and they'll mess up the dribble by themselves without you having to do anything. So don't get scared. Let's say your opponent hits a hard clear that crosses most of the map. Instead of flying up to try and stop it in the air, it's much easier to wait until it's closer to the ground so you can catch it or hit it on the bounce. Let's say your teammate is dribbling and messes up a flick. Please do not try and save them. I know there's good intentions behind this, but if you fly in trying to save your teammate, it's very possible you will get beat by an opponent or lose a 50-50, leaving your goal empty and ready to be scored on. If you're the last player back and your opponent is coming straight at you with the dribble or any sort of attack, you need to kill time for your teammates to come back and help. Do not challenge right away. Go for a fake challenge, shadow defend, wait, just do anything to kill as much time as possible for your teammates to get back and help. If you're a champ player that spins every time you aerial, stop it, it's not helping you. When a ball is very high up and you need to hit a steep angle, using the roof of your car is a very easy and consistent way to score this type of goal. Watch some YouTube videos about drills and practice them a lot. They are super useful and can help you build muscle memory of mechanics, which is very, very important in Rocket League. If you want to practice half flips, wave dashes, flip resets, or any type of mechanic, the best way to do this is just doing it on repeat. Do the move over and over again for hours. This will help build your muscle memory. Playing every day is super important for overall consistency. Even if it's only for five to 10 minutes, play every day and you will start to be more consistent. Just because you don't have boost doesn't mean you have to ditch the entire play just to go grab some. Remember this, you are more useful in a play with no boost than out of the play with full boost. 
Put your ego aside and let them take the shot. If they have a better angle, there's no reason for you to also go for it. PC players are blessed with the ability to play workshop maps, so take advantage of it. These can help you out a ton with dribbling, car control, and so much more. How many times do I have to say this? Relax! Hiring a coach can help to point out specific mistakes in your gameplay, which can be really hard to do by yourself. I'll leave a link down below to my own coaching page where you can hire me and the first 10 people to use the code RELAX will get 75% off. That's right, 75%. I've never done this before, so if you don't want to miss out, go down below, click the link and use code RELAX to get 75% off. But this is only for the first 10 people, so be quick before they're all gone. Rocket League Esports is not only super entertaining, but you can learn a lot by watching the best players in the world battle it out against each other. You can also watch 1v1 matches between pros on YouTube, which is really helpful too. There's a whole goldmine of helpful YouTube videos out there if you want to rank up, so take advantage of it. You pretty much always want to defend from inside of the net. This gives you more time to react for saves, helps maintain several lines of defense, and gives you more angles to save the ball. A sideswipe uses your car's turning momentum and transfers it into the ball. This gives you an extra amount of power and is how a lot of pros hit absolute boomers. You can do this by turning into a ball and using a side flip. If you see your teammate being an idiot and going for a ball that you're already up for, don't be afraid to unchallenge the ball. Or if you go up for a ball and you see your opponent is clearly gonna beat you, you can do a backflip to uncommit and save yourself from that bad challenge. This is one of the best ways to improve your own gameplay and is very helpful once you reach champ and above. You can even look at your opponent's perspective which can teach you a lot about how you play from another player's view. Getting very consistent at hitting fast and accurate power shots is much more useful than learning flip resets or some other fancy mechanic. Power shots are useful all the way up to Supersonic Legend, so getting very good at them will give you a pretty big advantage over everyone else. I know this is kind of counterintuitive in a video with over 50 tips, but if you try to learn too much too fast, you're gonna overwhelm yourself and actually learn very little. So take your time, pace yourself, and try to learn a specific mechanic or technique one at a time. Don't beat yourself up too much if you suck at Rocket League. We all do. This game takes thousands of hours to get good at and it's very, very hard. Just remember to have fun, enjoy the gameplay at whatever rank you're at, and just have a good time. Because regardless if you're at the bottom or at the very top, this game is always fun. And a lot of it comes from getting better and seeing clear progression in your gameplay. So don't take it too seriously or take it extremely seriously if you want to be the best of the best. It's up to you. Now go out there, practice these tips, win some games, lose some games, don't be too toxic, subscribe to this channel, obliterate that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so I just finished editing this video and turns out I forgot two tips somehow. So the last two tips are drink some water and eat your veggies. But I still play every day. I suck booty at Rocket League, but I still play every day.